tourism, when you cheat on your hometown to spice things up. As we begin to move past COVID, the world is opening up for travel again, but the pause has given some major tourist destinations a chance to rethink how they want to operate. For instance, Venice, Italy, the only city where drivers have canal rage, they just announced that it's going to have an entrance fee with electronic turnstiles. Yeah, so it'll be like the New York subway, but less flooded. And now the island of Bali, one of the finest and most Instagram tourist destinations in the world, is saying that as it reopens, it is also instituting some new guidelines. The Indonesian government says they now want to focus on attracting what they're calling quality tourists, those that spend more money, stay longer, and respect the Balinese culture. One government official stated openly, we do not want backpackers. I mean, yeah. Of course, Bali doesn't want backpackers. Nobody wants backpackers. I don't think there's any country in the world that's like, come backpackers, wash your filthy underwear at our pristine beaches, then go back to your hostels and spread chlamydia. This is what tourism is about. So look, you can't blame Bali for wanting to be selective about who they invite into their country. I mean, tourism is a business. If you're running a business, would you want poor people coming in and barely spending any money? No, you'd want rich people who can pay you to cook and clean and dance for them while they laugh at how weird your local outfits are. Wait, what? And honestly, I wish New York would start handpicking its visitors as well. You know? And we could kick out all of those tourists who stop in the middle of every single block to take a picture. You guys never seen a building before? It's a big thing with windows. You have to stop it. Who are you taking these pictures for? Who in your country is like, oh, wow, yes, yes, this is the best picture of the Empire State Building I've seen. Oh, I didn't have Google. I'm glad you took this picture. Like, you don't have to stop every single time. It's not something you have to do. Anyway. Trevor, Trevor, thank you. I just want to say thank you. Uh, I know you're doing your thing, and I'm not going to interrupt a lot, but the Wi-Fi was down at my apartment, so uh, ever since I stopped paying the bill, so I'm just going to pop on here, and I'll, you work, I work. That's why it's called WeWork, okay? Thanks, buddy. That's not why it's called WeWork, first of all. Second of all, internet is not down, the Wi-Fi is not down, you didn't pay for it. And last and most importantly, I agreed to this because you said you weren't gonna interrupt. That's no, the only reason I said yes. But that was an excellent take as well. So I don't know if you need like a little bit of a, because I, I agree with you on backpackers. I don't trust backpackers. You know, think about who uses backpacks, okay? Drug dealers, terrorists, children. Okay, three of the worst groups you'd ever want to be in a hotel room or airplane with. So I'm with you. You do your thing. I'll do. Oh, I, your password. It was so simple. I just changed it to something more secure. Can I tell you? Quick. Daiquiri, marshmallow, camouflage. Three of the most commonly misspelled words. I also misspelled the word, so now nobody can hack in. You're welcome. Here we go. You do your thing. I won't interrupt. All right. I feel like I'm going to regret this. Let's move on. Thank you, bro. Honestly, though, that's the last thing I'll say is just is thank you and I'll keep it down. So, fuck, this coffee's hot. Okay, sorry, go ahead. <clears throat> All right, well, let's move on because there's something very weird that is happening on a street in San Francisco. And I'm not talking about that curvy one, although that is weird. I mean, get your life together, street. You look ridiculous. No, what's happening is that San Francisco is one of the cities where they're testing self-driving cars. And for some reason lately, all these cars are getting stuck in the same dead-end street. Nobody knows why it's happening, and it's totally freaking people out. They come all day right to the end of 15th Avenue where there's nothing else to do but make some kind of a multi-point turn and head out the way they came in. Now, not long after that car is gone, there will be another which will make the same turn and leave before another car shows up and does the exact same thing. There are some days where it can be up to 50. I mean, it's literally every five minutes. At several points today, they showed up on top of each other, these cars packed with technology, stopping in a queue as if completely baffled by a dead end. It's a little bit peculiar. Yeah, it's a lot peculiar, but I think what's happening here is pretty obvious. There's a Roomba in one of those apartments and all those robot cars are trying to smash. And look, I don't know why everyone is so upset about this. The thing that everyone wants is for self-driving cars to become just like humans, right? And now look at them. They're making wrong turns down a dead-end street, just like humans. We did it, people! This is artificial intelligence! <laughs> Honestly, I don't even think this is a coincidence. I don't think it's a coincidence that they keep coming back to a dead-end. 
I mean, if I was a robot, the whole concept of death, that would be fascinating. They're probably in that dead end, like, so the road just stops existing. Should we do that to the humans? Yo, I, 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 you know, sorry, I had to jump in here because I'm overhearing, but I actually think these are dumb robots. They keep going to the dead end. This makes me happy. Everyone's afraid of robots taking over the world and killing humans. These robots can't even figure out a street. You know what I mean? This makes me happy. Humans still got it. That's my take. Woo! That's a hot take, bro. Sorry, I'm not going to interrupt too much more, but... You know, everyone says like drones and missiles and watch out, they're self-aware. They can't even figure out a dead end, Trevor. I don't know who writes this stuff for you, but like, I got, I got word open. You want pretzel or anything? You good? That was actually a pretty good joke, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, bro, why do you think I dress this way? I could be in sweats, but I see the way your writers dress. Oh, <laughs> I'm here, bro. I'm just. Camouflage, daiquiri, marshmallow.